I'm between one and three. For Jamie Buck and Kelly Inman, yeah. it was frustrating being fans of sports, but not a fan of the clothing. Yes, we always joke that all of everything that's on the market for women in the sports apparel world is made by, made by men for women. So it was around the Minneapolis Miracle, we were out shopping looking for something to wear and couldn't really find anything and we're complaining about the options out there and that's kind of how Fangirl sparked. So the champs of the North Minnesota. Now they're not only best friends, but business partners. These have been a hit for the postseason coming up and the playoffs. Launching Fangirl MN in 2018. These are by far our best sellers. It started as an Etsy shop with them making each shirt. Now they work with Minneapolis screen printers. We have had crazy growth this past year. Their football collection has grown 300% over the year before. I love it. Love it. It allowed them to leave their jobs in November to focus all their energy on Fangirl. They've received licensing for Row the Boat and also do lines for baseball and hockey. You could oh, do yeah. like a, a darker blue. Next up, they're designing clothes for basketball. The ultimate goal is to get licensing for all the sports they cover. Casual and cute enough to wear to a game, but it's also something you'll wear to the grocery store or to brunch with friends, or it's just a little more versatile. Fans have turned into employees. I love how it's just like women owned, especially like I'm a sport management major, so I like obviously I'm a woman in sport and I appreciate what they're doing. Sometimes we get guys joking around like, are you going to make anything for us? And we say, you already have enough options. <laughs> like that is the point of Fangirl. Gaining fans for its fashion. For Behind the Business, Heidi Wigdahl, Care 11 News.